For millennia, a titan roamed this frozen kingdom, a beast cloaked in ice and legend, the woolly mammoth. Now, silence reigns where its thunderous steps once shook the earth. But what if that silence is about to shatter? Deep within the heart of science, a daring gamble is unfolding. A gamble to rewrite the past, to resurrect a beast thought lost forever. This isn't Jurassic Park. This is reality. The impossible dream of a woolly mammoth hybrid is inching closer than ever. Mammoth elephant breeds are being bred by scientists, and they might help keep the Arctic's permafrost from melting. If a new biotech company does well, the giant mammoth might come back to life in a few years. The biotech company Colossal wants to use an embryo made of mammoth and elephant cells to get an elephant to have a baby. The CRISPR gene editing technology, which works like molecular tools, can add DNA from a dead species to the genome of an Asian elephant. Mammoth DNA will be analyzed from tusks, bones, and other preserved body parts found in ice. This will make a elephant-mammoth hybrid that looks like a bigger, furrier elephant with smaller ears and a high-domed head. A cell nucleus has already been changed thousands of times, but no one knows how many more changes are needed to bring the animals back and make them able to live in the cold Arctic. Never before has humanity been able to harness the power of this technology to rebuild ecosystems, heal our Earth, and preserve its future through the repopulation of extinct animals," says Ben Lamb, co-founder of the new company. The biology company said last year that it had raised 12.6 million euros from backers so far to help realize the co-founder's dream of ending extinction. Some of these are wealthy business people, like the Winklevoss twins and Peter Thiel, who helped create PayPal. At the end of the last ice age, about 4,000 years ago, woolly mammoths were no longer alive. Colossal's team says that bringing them back is a step towards new technologies that can help protect the Earth. Colossal leverages the exponential progress made in technologies for reading and writing DNA and applies it to iconic ecological conservation and carbon sequestration issues, says George Church, a co-founder. The biologist from Harvard University and other supporters of the de-extinction movement say that the project can help fix environments and increase biodiversity, while also giving us new knowledge about biology and evolution. Church has said that genetic research could also help protect rare elephants by giving them the tools they need to do well in other areas. In a recent interview, he said, We'd like to see them living on every continent of the world except for Antarctica and Australia, where mammoths didn't live. We want to build stations far from people, so that the Arctic elephants can have space to roam and do well. Colossal has also said that woolly mammoths might have been able to bring life back to Arctic fields. If these animals with heavy feet don't exist, trees, moss, and bushes might take over too much of the land, making it harder for frost to get through. Arctic permafrost is one of the most important landscapes in the world because it keeps carbon frozen underground. However, it has been slowly melting, which speeds up global warming. Mammoths that roamed around helped meadows take over, which let ice sink deeper into the ground. Church thinks that groups of Arctic elephants could help turn things around. While they wait, a big study project is going on in Siberia, in Pleistocene Park. A big project is being done to bring back the huge desert environment that ruled the Arctic 12,000 years ago. Other animals, like reindeer, moose, and yak, are keeping the fields low right now. So far, we've mostly talked about whether we can do this or not, and now we're getting to the holy crap, we can do it, so why shouldn't we? Stage, says Douglas McCauley, a biologist at the University of California, Santa Barbara. When McCauley released a de-extinction policy in 2016, it said that any large-scale de-extinction plant would be too pricey and not work. Researchers who have looked into how much de-extinction programs cost say that the money could be better spent on efforts to keep plants and animals from going extinct right now. Over 30% of trees in the world are in danger of going extinct, and the UN has warned that a total of 1 million species are now in danger. There is also some worry that bringing dead species back to life could bring up germs that haven't been seen before. People and other animals might be able to get these viruses and germs. We hope this video has sparked your curiosity and fueled your imagination about the incredible advancements in genetic engineering. Don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to stay updated.